But, hey. Oh boy, oh boy. Place your bets, people. Place your bets. Who's going to win this best of one? Oh, I just realized I messed up something. Um, my apologies. I'll quickly fix this. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. As we are now on Tropical Sacrifice. And actually, the, the players pick my, my favorite color scheme. I really like this one. And we are looking at the base in the bottom left corner of the map. It is the Blue Terran from Italy, representing Team Roti, our current king of the hill, Baby Marine. And spawning in the top right hand corner of Tropical Sacrifice, we have his opponent, the South Korean Terran player. He is orange, representing Prep Esports. It is Hon Mono. Not sending like, SCVs out on the map. Yeah, I was just saying, like, 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 where are the SCVs? Yes, it's, where it's, are it's, the proxies? It's crazy. He's keeping them at home. Maybe it is Bjorn. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Bjorn is playing. I don't Hang know. on his account. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So Hon Mono going for a much more uh, standard opener here, which makes sense. That's the problem with Hon Mono is that um he has a reputation, so because of that, uh when you first like kind of pop up on the scene, mm -hmm. you can really surprise people. But as mm -hmm. your career goes on, then people are catching on to your shenanigans and you have to adapt as well. Yeah, funnily enough, it's Hon Mono checking for proxies first. Baby Marine does as well, to be fair. Yeah. But both both players are making sure they're not being surprised by anything cheeky. And it looks like we will have a fairly standard game. Oh my, is Hon Mono going to play? We'll, it's too it's too early to say, of course. You know, you Look. can go for some two base play. Look, there is that quote that the cheesiest thing a cheeser can do is play macro. It's true. I don't know if Hon Mono is that so. cheesy, though. <laughs> we'll see. Oh boy. For those who are tuning in for maybe the first time and or maybe who are unfamiliar with some of these players, Hon Mono is the cheesiest Terran player in all of South Korea. Uh he is uh, he relies on a lot of proxies on a lot of very unique builds that you don't see too often. Um so he's always a lot of fun to watch. Always a lot of fun. He was in the chat earlier as well, so give him plenty of love. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Uh, I guess a fun fact for the people as well is that Hon Mono is a, is a Korean Terran, but he's actually living in Japan. Yeah, and because he's, he's as far as I know, he's living there permanently or at least for a longer time, he's able to participate in some tournaments that are restricted to the Japanese region. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. He can play in the dream hack as a Japanese resident instead, um, so he can find success there. Meanwhile, so far, the openers seem to be relatively standard. We do see Baby Marine uh, kind of taking notes here from Nicorect, going for a Cyclone opener instead behind this. We do see two Reapers slipping into the main base. Ooh, they do get one of those SCVs. Ooh, two SCVs. Actually, the SCVs are just trying to repair themselves. There is no defense there whatsoever for Hon Mono. Yeah, his Reapers were in the middle of the map. They had to turn all the way around, and by the time they get here, it is too late. Six SCVs already go down. Yeah, I mean, both both uh, repairs of Baby Mary are going down as well, but single CVs on the beginning of the game, that's that's pretty good damage. It really is. And now, Hon Mono, the pressure is on him to counterattack because uh, losing six workers this early on is almost game-ending. He has to go for a counterattack. He has one Cyclone here across the map. Unfortunately for Hon Mono, Baby Marine also opened up with a Tech Lab on his factory. He already has one Cyclone waiting in his main. Yeah, so, I mean, as you said, Hon Mono has to do what he can, but I don't know if there is a lot that he can. <laughs> so I guess he's just going to progress with the build. Yeah, he's just going to be playing from behind. He's behind seven workers right now. Of course, there are ways to, to catch back up, especially if Baby Marine decides to be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe he gets caught out in the middle of the map. We see Hon Mono waiting here in the tall grass, but Baby Marine is going to be able to get eyes on this with this spotted Marine. Yeah, this was very nice. It's a really, really nice position that Holomono is taking there, right with this Karak. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but again, he was spotted. Ooh, uh, Baby Marine gets a lock-on on the Reaper and he's gonna lose his Cyclone. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, I, I don't think that was a worthy trade for Baby Marine, but at least he did stop this attack before it reached the base, so the base is safe, but the Cyclone is a pretty valuable unit. Oh yeah, it really is, and again, that was an unfortunate A move there from Baby Marine. Um, he didn't intentionally target the Reaper, it was just, you know, it auto-targeted that out of all the units. Um, so a nice little trade here from Honmono, and a very necessary trade. Because he's behind economically, he has to trade a little bit more efficiently. He has to catch whatever he can. Cyclones, Medivacs, Ravens. Um, the onus is on Hon Mono right now to, to bounce back. Yes, indeed. And we'll see if he will bounce back. As Once again, Baby Baron is setting up his defenses. Ooh, he's having that Cyclone on the top. There are tanks on the high ground as well. So Hon Mono has to be really careful with this handful of units that he's trying to sneak here. Yeah, and I'm really curious about a couple of things. As Honmono, he has his eyes on the potential third. We see a third TC is on the way here for Baby Marine. Ooh, Honmono does lose his Reaper here as he uh, flies a little bit too close to the sun, uh, too close to these tanks. What's important is that Honmono hasn't started a third TC, so it's possible that he's going to be working up towards a two-base push. Definitely is possible, and I mean... I mean, as we say that, he just puts down the third CC. There it is. I was waiting for it. Like, yes, once again. Mm -hmm. Once again, we, he's averting our expectations there. Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for either a third CC or two more Raxes. We do see a very important mm -hmm. scan from Baby Marine. He confirms the economic follow-up here of Hon Mono, that there is a third CC, so he knows that he is safe to take his own. And Hon Mono is actually moving out with this. I guess that is one way to secure a base, is to just you know make sure that the opponent is busy on their side of the map. And, I mean, does he have enough to face Ooh. this? Ooh, the tanks are already set up. Yeah, the armies are pretty comparable in size, but already two Cyclones go down immediately. He takes a massive tank shot to the face, and Hon Mono, a lot of the wind gets taken out of his sails. Like, uh, his advantage was his Cyclone count, and sure, he has a couple more Vikings compared to his opponent, but that's not going to be enough. Yeah, with a great position from Baby Marine on the edge of that of that cliff, I don't think he can really get much done here. Unless he catches Baby Marine out of position, but I don't think that's happening with the vision that he has. Yeah, great spot of Marines here from Baby Marine. He's able to rotate his army over, keep up with this base. Oh my god, he is thinking of even diving on top of this army, but there we go, he just sieges just the forces back. Wait, did I see that right? He was hiding a marine in the bush, like behind the trees? That was, that was sneaky. <laughs> ah, God. Yeah, just for that scouting and... In the end, Hon Mono, he is deflected. He's going to be able to work on his third TC, but we can we can see for ourselves that like it is so late in comparison. Yeah. And still, Hon Mono is trying to find a position here to attack, to attack Baby Marine, but... Baby Marine just has an eye has eyes on him constantly. He's actually able to siege first here. Oh, oh yeah, Ooh, great disables. disables. Yeah, the disables are amazing here for Hon Mono. He does land his own Vikings. He's gonna be able to take down every single one of these tanks. Yeah, and, and in a blink of an eye, this this is actually getting really really great for Hon Mono, but all that thought as the Vikings are like there's still one tank on the high ground. I think Hon Mono will get cleaned up eventually. Yeah, it looked like maybe Hon Mono had found his opportunity, his attack, but no, it was not enough in the end. He reset the tank count, but the Vikings were just a little bit too much. Yeah, in the end, he just did not have enough for this attack, and his entire army gets cleaned up, which is really not great for for, for Hon Mono, who has already been quite struggling with, with the, his later third base. Yeah, you could definitely argue that he overextended. To be fair, like, mm -hmm. the pressure was on him to keep going and to try to break the third base and maybe mm -hmm. even win the game. So I don't blame him because he has been behind or he was behind at the time. Um, after all said and done, though, because workers were pulled and because SVs died, Hon Mono, he's suddenly taking a worker lead. He's He has kind of caught back up. Yeah, he did. And he's actually taking a fourth uh, with this as well. So, I mean... Sure, Baby Marine did did hold the attack, but he also did suffer his own losses. So, 
I don't think he will be moving out anytime soon. So this is a great chance for Honmono to actually, you know, skip ahead in the economy. Yeah, I, I love that Honmono. He goes straight for the, th the fourth CC on location. Like, it is a little bit risky. It is very greedy. Um, but because of what just happened, I'm sure Baby Marine is expecting a follow-up push. That's why we have, you know, a more defensive position here on, on this third base. Mm -hmm. um, so I do think that Honmono can get away with this. Baby Marine is being active with this double drop. But as we can see, he's more concerned with getting map vision, not not so much applying pressure to a potential for Yeah, and funnily enough, he actually doesn't have map vision that specific corner of the map where Honmono is expanding. And there is a, even a Marine, I think it's a Marine that's just, you know, keeping... It's actually an SCV, but like just keeping an eye, you know, making sure that Hon, the Baby Marine doesn't, again, doesn't surprise Honmono right there. Yeah, so Homono, he's he's slowly trying to catch up. There are still other aspects of the game where he's still struggling. You know, we can see the upgrades. Baby Marine is already working. He's already basically halfway on 2-2. So his bio army is so much stronger compared to Hon Monos. He's working on plus one vehicle weapons as well. We do see him rotating around. Going to try and get in position to deny this fourth. Rob? Yeah, but Hon Mono is actually ready and he's already taking, like, doing that. Uh going for tank shots on the bio army and now he just steams forward he cleans the tanks of baby marine and this attack is completely stopped yeah questionable move there from baby marine just sieging up in range of hon mono's tanks just being a little bit maybe overconfident a little bit um yeah mm -hmm. careless with that army and yeah hon mono again he's bouncing back like these are wins that he needed here and he's still behind don't get me wrong but nowhere near as much as he once was yeah, definitely. He, I mean, as as we said, it was pretty smart for him to take that four base, and he's been able to to hold it for for so long. But the question is, what happens next? As Baby Mary has another army prepared and he's moving out. Yeah, we do see he is spotted here by Hon Mono. He does have his tanks already in position. We do see a scan, so Baby Marine is forced back. At the same time, we have a massive quadruple drop of Marines here towards the south. And if Hon Mono isn't too careful, oh my god, his fourth is under threat. His main is under threat. I mean, there are all these missile turrets, so I don't think the drop will make it through, but maybe one or two medivacs will. No, oh, he doesn't care. He's going in anyway. One full medivac goes down, but only one. Yeah, and the Marines are able to unload. They will make devastating damage here in the main base. The entire army of Baby Marine actually has to go back to defend. But can they even come back in time with all this Sim City? Yeah, let's see how good the target firing is. Okay, he won't go for the CC. He's going to try and target down as many of these tarts as possible. 11 SCVs already went down. This entire drop is going to get cleaned up. But on Mono, the damage wasn't too bad. Wasn't worth it, though. Yeah, that's the question, because, I mean, Baby Marine still has a big army and... Hon Mono is still moving on, on the map, but if they actually face each other in a head on engagement, I'm not sure if he would be able to win that fight. Yeah, I mean, Hon Mono is still has a pretty major upgrade deficit. We can see in a, in a couple of mm. seconds he's going to catch up with 2-2, but he has to be careful not to have an anti-timing. He can't fight without it. Yeah, and he's trying to move into position, but Baby Marine has already came back from defending that drop. He's already there with his entire army, so... If Honmono is not careful, he may actually use his opportunity here. Yeah, we'll see in 10 seconds. Those upgrades are finally going to finish up. You can see them there on the right-hand side. Baby Marine also keeping up with these rotations. So far, doing a decent job here, keeping up with Honmono. Honmono is trying to find a way in. Up. Oh. They're actually moving in the same direction. Oh, Honmono, the, the upgrade is just finished, and it looks like he's trying to get in, but Baby Marine is right there, so... Yeah, he gives up on that attack. It's it's not really gonna work, is it? Yeah, yeah. He was looking for an opportunity. Meanwhile, Babe Marine is moving out, so the army is gonna be meeting here in the middle of the map. Ooh, they literally meet in the middle. None of them siege, so it's just yeah, just gonna be the scanning and positions. Our favorite. Yeah, and you know what? Honmono is coming out a little bit better here because he is double expanding as we speak. So the armies are a little bit distracted and Honmono is taking advantage of that. Likewise, Bay Marine also expands here towards the south. He's trying to sneak out his own fifth base. Yeah, I really like how Honmono is playing with the economy in this game where like, you know, he knew he was behind at the oh. beginning, but he's making up for it for, with the continuous expanse. Unfortunate, the tank a little bit behind. You know, just left on yep. the at the end of the Baby Marine of is the forced, line. He's forced to go for maybe even a counter attack right now because he cannot defend his own bases. He suddenly they've switched places. Baby Marine's on low ground and he's going for the base trade. 
Yeah, I think and the we are basically. He, turns basic around, he, he has to commit. Mate, commit. He turns around as well. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. This 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 will be rough. Yeah. Because I now when uh -huh. is on the low ground between and between him and his bases yeah. is the army of baby. Mate, he's indecisive. Look at that. He turns back around again. Baby Marine already started the base trade. Honmono finally does decide to commit, but those precious seconds were so important here, buying so much time for Baby Marine. I mean, to be fair, important thing for Honmono is that he does have more bases, as we said before, so that, that is potentially an advantage in a base trade. The question is, can he do enough dam damage in time? Yeah, we'll see. We do see Vikings landing in the main base. Baby Marine is actually turning around with his main army. We do see that the main base of Baby Marine has been compromised. The production is slowly going down. Baby Marine also a little bit indecisive. He's like, do I commit? Do I turn around? Where do I go? I, I, it, it looks like both these players are very uncomfortable. <laughs> like, it, it looks like DJ really has like a lot of experience in like base trade scenarios yeah. in the, at this stage of the game. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to figure out what they want to be doing here. Here we go. He has turned around. Oh, there are a lot of tanks on the high ground, but they're also quite exposed to it. They're exposed, but the scan goes comes quite uh, at the perfect moment and Honmono is able to take get rid of quite a few of bio units of Baby Marine and he keeps the position in Baby Marine's base. Yeah, and Baby Marine doesn't have a lot of mining right now. He has four okay there we go. He's rotating his SCVs over. He has one mining base right now. Meanwhile, Honmono has CCs all over the place as well. On Mono has the high ground, but at the same time, he's kind of trapped here in the natural base of Baby Marine. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, and actually, Baby Marine has two fortresses and two orbitals. Meanwhile, Hon Mono does have three orbitals, so that's also a little bit of an advantage because you can drop more mules than your opponent. Well, so, yeah. in this, you know, low economy base trade scenario, it may be important. Mm -hmm. It could definitely be important, especially with all those mules. I just worry that I don't know if Honmono can ever get out of here. There we go. The tanks are going to be sieging up, and Honmono just can't escape. I, I say he can't escape. He has a lot of medevacs. He can always unsiege, pick up, and try and leave. But if he gets scanned, then Baby Marine, he's just going to stim on forward and try and snipe him. Yeah, that's the problem. There's only one ramp out of this base, and there's a huge just you know chunk of, of tanks being set up right in front of it so if Honmono makes the wrong move like his entire army will be cleaned up yeah but there we go he does have high ground vision he's gonna be able to actually deny mining here at a very important base of baby marine this is the only mining base right no i guess there is the one at the top but yeah, it's only yeah. just started yeah there are just aren't a lot of workers that's the problem we do see Baby Marine trying to go for a dive on top of those tanks with those Marines, but didn't quite work out for him in the end. We do see Honmono trying to rotate back around. He has to be very careful here. Here we go. Baby Marine, he's going for it. Yeah, Baby Marine is going up there and he's disabling a lot of the tanks and he's managed to siege up, so he will have the vision. All these tanks are forfeit. There we go. The Ravens, the MG base units with a real MVP here for Baby Marine. The tank count gets reset, but we have a lot of Marines available for Honmono. Yeah, this is the thing, like, as we said, Honmono had the mining, but also Honmono saved a lot of his production, so yeah. he did not have to remake those barracks. So he is able to reinforce much more quicker. But this bio will oh. die fairly quick with tanks. Oh my god, that was not the fight to take, Honmono. He takes a lot of tank shots to the face, even though he did have a lot of marines. Now they're all gone. We have an anti-armor missile as well. Honmono, he can't really take this fight. Yeah, the marines way, are way too squishy for this fight, and he's making more tanks, but... They're not be able, they won't be able to be here like before the siege is happening and now here Baby Marine. Baby Marine has the control of this base. Yeah. And I think this game. He has control of this area, but what's important, you talked about it, we didn't we don't have a lot of production for Baby Marine. So Honmono, he mm. keeps pumping out more and more marines. Honmono has to buy time because he does have the better mining right now. So as time goes on, he's gonna be able to rebuild and eventually overwhelm what Baby Marine has. Yeah, but he also just lost all of his factories. He has oh. zero factories. It's just marines. Yeah, zero. Versus all of these tanks. Zero factories, zero star ports as well. Mass marine, mass man with gun. Is it going to be enough? We do see another tank getting picked off. So a couple of the reinforcements of Bay Marine go down, but the tanks are in range. It looks like this planetary is going to get picked off. Yeah, so I mean, man with gun OP, but man with gun also die very easily. So 
I'm not quite sure it's enough. I mean, Holmono will try. He'll go for another base raid. He's sniping a tank. He's, he's taking down a lot of marines and will once again take down the this, production yeah, of baby this, marines. This is so important. He's taking down the production. And this is okay because Holmono has so many more mining bases. The factory, sorry, the Raxes are going to be going down. We see a scan here. Baby marine is looking for the CCs. I like how this just a uh, random bar landed there, just so, so Baby Marine can't take it. The Mass Marine is doing it, another orbital is going to be going down, but Baby Marine is going to try and cut off the army, he's going to try and get the siege. Yeah, he will get siege up, I mean Honmono cannot move into this position, he just has to go to another place. Yeah, and another mining base of Honmono is going to be denied at the same time. God, he has so many Marines, catches even more reinforcements. Look at the unit stat. Hot Water has 56 Marines to the 10 of Baby Marine. Yeah, but oh, the, the 9 tanks, though. Oh, he's Ooh, coming in. Bit savage, but I, I don't think the Marines are here in time, but they are coming in now, and he will be able to clean up Baby Marine. Yeah. And suddenly, this is his game. Yep, just like that. Baby Marine just lost his entire army. He has no factories remaining. He has nothing left. You were talking about it earlier, but the fact that these Raxes survived the base trade was so important here for Honmono. He was taking bases. Mm -hmm. He was muling. He was just making nothing but man with gun, and it is all he needs right now. He goes for the scans. He finds the ninja bases. Yeah, he finds all the bases of Baby Marine, and with this army, he should be able to overpower it. I mean, don't get me wrong, the planetary fortress is still pretty strong, so he has to be careful how he approaches this, but I think, I think finally, Honmono is, you know, marching for victory. Yeah, he is. I don't know how Honmono loses this, other than losing, like, full medivacs, full of marines. Um, as I say that, we see Baby Marine trying to keep his drops alive here, trying to distract the army as best he can. He's buying time for his production to, to be rebuilt. Uh, he has a factory on the way towards the south, but no, the factory gets found! Yeah, the factory just happens to be in the same base that Honmono is approaching. But he's being very careful about these planetaries and even, you know, making sure that the, the marines are not in the fire at, at all. Yeah, we see the double jump going across the map to pick up what it can. Another CC goes down. This orbital, I believe, sorry, this uh, planetary is in range of these tanks. So, yeah, it's only a matter of time before this also goes down. Yeah, by the way, Baby Man only has those two planetaries. Like, he has no orbitals. So, th that's just it. Yeah, this is going to be it. But the double drop picks off another base. Like, again, Baby Marine with the control with the micro can he eventually... Uh... <laughs> I don't know if you yeah. really can. I mean, it depends, right? Oh, even this factory being very sneaky, but it is scouted by Honmono and he will come to clean this up. It's just this one base of Baby Marine. Yeah, one final base, one planetary. Again, the units have, we have 16 Marines left here for Baby Marine. He may just die from elimination. He may just lose all of his buildings. He very well may, but I mean, that Marine Force is still around the map, but with two tanks here being set up, I I don't think he has a way out of this. Yeah, he can't fight. Like, the reinforcements are even too much here for Hon like poor Baby Marine. He cannot deal, he cannot break this position. Hot Mono just has too much army, too much numbers. His mining was just superior this entire base trade. And, and he GG. Said Mono wouldn't play a macro game. <laughs> <laughs> GG gets called a Hon Mono fights back in a longer game and brings down Baby Marine. Do you think, do you think, Hero, I mean, what am I saying? I've, I watched too much Home Story Cup. Do you think Hon Mono was huh? like in the chat and like, oh yeah, cheesy, it's probably Hon Mono. It's like, you know <laughs> what, guys? You know what? <laughs> no cheese. Oh my god. I will show you. I will show you, puppy. Ay, ay, ay. GG, well played. Congratulations to Hon Mono. Uh, it was a close game. It ended in a base trade. Mm -hmm. And again, it didn't look like the best start to the base trade. But we saw that yes. maybe the, the, the most crucial mistake from Baby Marine was that he didn't commit to killing everything in the main of Hon Mono. He, uh, mm -hmm. in the middle of the base trade, he was very quick to actually come back home with his main mm -hmm. army. And as a result, the production was left alone. And we saw how important that was for Honmono to, to yeah. come back and actually 